Switching tracks now, and ISRO is all set to launch while resat an Earth observation satellite on the 48th mission of the PSLV series, the PSLV C-46 on uh, 22nd of May. The rocket will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The space rocket will be carrying the Resat 28 shot for radar imaging satellite 28. It is the second in a series of satellites used to observe weather conditions on Earth. Using radar imagery, the satellite will be capable of monitoring weather day and night and all uh, weather conditions ISRO has has made provisions for the public to view the launch from the recently opened viewers gallery at the Satish Dhawan Space Center. And while UK's Brexit party leader Nigel Farage has had milkshake thrown at him while campaigning in Newcastle. Faraj uh, was campaigning in the city ahead of the European elections on May 23rd. The Brexit leader had just given a short speech at the city's monument as part of a tour of the country when a drink was thrown at him. He was immediately led away by the security and his whereabouts in the city have now been well cut short. His trip has been cut short. A, a 32-year-old man has now been arrested for throwing the milkshake at Faraj and remains in police custody. In a video circulating on social media, a voice can be heard shouting fastest as Viraj walks away. <laughs> So Faraj, they're getting milkshake on himself. Now, in other news, and the actor who played the president on screen became the president for real. Volodymyr Zelensky has been, well, sworn in as Ukraine's new president. After being sworn in, Zelensky was given a specter which he held aloft as a sign of victory. Immediately after taking oath, Zelensky also dissolved the Ukrainian parliament and called for snap elections. He did this in a bid uh, to win seats in a legislature that is still dominated by the former president's loyalists. Zelensky's new party has no representation in parliament as of now. Вы призначили самі. Зробіть це і повісьте медалі собі. And Ukraine's Prime Minister has announced that he would step down this Wednesday. He has also confirmed that he would take part in the upcoming parliamentary elections. Ukraine's Prime Minister belongs to the former President Petro Poroshenko's party. Zelensky has said that his first task is to achieve a ceasefire in eastern Ukraine. He added that dialogue with Russia could only happen after the return of Ukrainian territory and prisoners of war. A five-year-old conflict with Russian-backed separatists has killed 13,000 people in the region so far. I really want to that in your cabinets there was no my photos. 